Question 24. Here is a quadrilateral on a square grid. Remember, quadrilateral just means any shape with four sides. The quadrilateral is translated so that point A moves to point B. Draw the quadrilateral in its new position, use a ruler. Well, the million dollar question is what does translated mean? Translated just basically means you're sliding the shape. And you can either slide your shape left or right. Or pour down. Okay, so it's 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 not being rotated, it's not being flipped over or anything like that. It's just sliding left or right, up or down. That's the whole point of a translation. Now there is actually two ways you can do this. Way number one is to use tracing paper. So here's a shape that I traced earlier on some tracing paper. As you can see, it fits exactly over. Now, all we've got to do is slide the shape or translate the shape so that point A moves to point B. So once you've traced your shape, making sure you know which point is point A, slide your tracing paper along and up to fit point A over point B, and it would be there. So all you would have to do then is draw the lines onto the square grid obviously you would use a ruler okay that's one method to, you could use using tracing paper the second method would be to count squares from this point a to all the other corners so from point a to get to this corner here i can go one across and three up one across three up so I do exactly the same for point B. One across and three up. One, two, three would go there. So that's that corner dealt with. To get from that corner to the top corner here, I would go one up and two to the left. So I go one up and two to the left. One, two. So the top corner would have to be there. So that's the top corner dealt with. One final corner to do. And you can actually map out a journey on the grid from any of the other three corners that you've done. So let's go from point A, because that was the original corner, but we could have done either of the other two. So point A, I would go one, two, three, four to the left, and one, two up. So it's four to the left and two up. Here we go. One, two, three, four to the left, and one, two up, which would be there. All you've got to do then is again get your ruler. You would obviously use a ruler to do this and join the corners up. And that is your answer. Please do not do what I've just done there without a ruler because sometimes examiners see this. And if you do do it without a ruler and you don't and you make a mess of it, you're not going to get any marks. So make sure you move a ruler. I'll just pop the tracing paper back on there again to see that we have actually got the same answer. Okay, but it looks much better when you've used a ruler. 